Okay, so today we're going to look at the MED centre main strap. So, Steve, what have you got? What's it for? Okay, basically, if you look at the standard centre main off of a 1275 998 block, this is the fracture point just here, as you'll see, there's a sharp corner. What we're going to do is we're going to mill this lump of metal off to make it flat from this section to this section. And then we put on the MED centre main strap. This is machined from steel and it will now fit over the top of there, like so. And because you've added this extra piece of material, yeah. you will then need the extra long studs. These are made of a very high quality steel. They've got a location in the bottom. They're not a bolt. They are a proper purpose-made stud. And does that come with the kit? These all come as per the kit. And it even comes with a little ARP multi-point nut. So you get the strap, two studs, two nuts in the kit. How does that vary from the previous type? Well, the previous type, these were basically mild steel, cold drawn stock bar. They were bent, twisted as they came out the mill. They were just a drilled hole which had a, cap, um, a hexagon head bolt. The head of the bolt used to eat into here. This is why we've gone for nuts and washers, etc. And these now are machined all over, so all the faces are perfectly flat. And also the width is different as well, isn't it? Also, we've made this completely the same width as the cap. The cheaper ones, or the predecessors, they're only three quarters of the way over the cap. You'll notice we've also completely radius the ends Yep. We've put a nice chamfer around the top and also it's got the little magic name on the top. The reason this is done is basically when this is here, the crankshaft is spinning because it's only a three main bearing block, i.e. you've not got two extras here, you get a lot of flex on the crankshaft here and this strengthens the complete assembly. So once this is in place, you've got a lot more strength Okay. The complete solution is obviously a four bolt steel cap, but very expensive to fit and to line bore in situ. So with this you won't need to line bore the engine This again. will fit straight on the original caps. Obviously yes. it's very important to keep the original caps that you've got with the engine. You must keep these because these are actually line bored to fit on this particular block. Now we produce these for 998 and 1275. Yes. S blocks, Cooper S? S, the cap is made of a far better material and it hasn't got the step in it, so there's no need for this on an S-block. What would you recommend this for? Is it for fast road, fast track road, day? Fast road, some people who are running on a budget on a race engine will put this on because obviously they can't afford the steel caps and the line boring, so it's a budget way. Okay. But a very, very good thing for a road car or track day, budget racer. Is this something that you can fit at home? Not really, because we'll be running through the actual machining procedure in a second and you'll see you'll need a milling machine, a grinding machine, to make it fit perfectly. So really it's a machine shop job. To machine this, what we're going to do is go to put in a milling machine, it's a vertical milling machine, and what we do is we put this in the vise, which will clamp it here, it will sit on a parallel strip underneath to hold it at the right height, and then we'll use a multi-bladed carbide cutting head that will actually cut through this material until we get down to this face and this face. Once we're down to those faces, we will then take the cap out of the milling machine. It'll go round onto the surface grinder, which has a magnetic bed. This then sits on the magnetic bed. We turn the magnetic bed on, which locks that in place. And then the grinding machine will literally grind that perfectly flat within a tenth or so of a thou. Is this something that a general machine shop can do? I would think most general machine shops could actually do it. Whether they will have the grinding machine, I don't know, but the milling machine most machine shops have got. Okay, so potentially could we do this for somebody? If somebody wanted to buy the centre main strap and they sent this to us, long as they mark it with their name somewhere, so that we know that is theirs and we send the right one back to the right customer, then yes, we could do it for them. This one now has been machined, ground, and is now ready to fit. So pop the dowels in, cap goes on, and the MED strap goes 
on the top with the studs and the nuts and away you go.